Today I'm going to go over how to create a custom brush in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to go ahead and open up a photo that you'd like to be able to convert into a brush, go ahead and open up that up. And go ahead and click on the marquee selection tool, the top of the toolbar, and click and drag around the photo here. And it helps you if you have a photo that has just a plain background like that and then some pixels here. And then go ahead and go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And I'm going to call it Butterfly Wing here. Click OK. Now I'm going to go to File New. And I'm just going to open a large area to work with here. And go ahead and select your brush from the toolbar. And what you'll want to do is click up on the top and you'll see it was added right here in your default uh, brush styles there. All right. So if I just click there, it just creates the same exact image. But of course, in that one hue that whatever is our uh, foreground color, it's going to set it as. All right. So go ahead and press the left bracket on the keyboard or come up here and just change the size right there to make it a little bit smaller. And if you can click and drag across, it creates that effect there. But to switch it up a little bit for patterns, you can go ahead and go to Window, then Brush. And there's a couple settings here you may want to consider. Shape Dynamics, for example, uh, has size jitter under it. What that does is just adjust the size. Angle changes the angle instead of it just being the same throughout. Instead of it being static, you can make it more dynamic as it changes and round this as well. Um, scattering, and it previews it down here. If you just have it at zero, it's not going to really scatter. If you bring it over to the right hand side a little bit, it increases that uh, level of scatter. And if you go to color dynamics, you can also uh, either delineate or actually uh, use the foreground and background color, uh, or you can just do the hue jitter and it will if you went all the way to 100% or it would go through all these different hues but if you go just say uh, 20% or 15% it'll just vary a little bit alright so you can close that out and click and drag and you'll see it creates this nice pattern here alright you can click new layer change the foreground color do it again over here and then you could change the blending mode if you wanted, maybe multiply or overlay. You can experiment with the different settings there and see what you can come up with. While you're, we're on brushes, you can also, if you click this down arrow, go over to the right hand arrow and you can open up a bunch of different brushes that you have available already. You know, if you go to special effect brushes, click OK, and then click OK. If you hit uh, yes, you're going to save your brushes, your current set in a directory. I'm just going to hit no because I don't want to save the changes. All right. And then you have a couple special effects there. And again, you can look through all those for ideas. But any photo that you have that's pretty simple, like a butterfly wing or some kind of shape uh, that you want to convert into a brush like that, uh, now you know how to do that. You just select it and then define it as a brush preset. Thank you.